Well, it's a good thing we got Zephyr here to protect us from the hose. Meanwhile, check out this Harley I got. This is a 1987 Electroglide. I found this one for the price of a Sportster. The catch is it's not running. So it's a little bit of a gamble, but let's see what we got. First thing we gotta do is get all these bags off so we can get a new battery in. Let's pour some fresh gas in and see if we have any leaks. All seems good so far. Let's give it a try. I can't believe it. it. Runs perfectly. Let's see if it'll idle. Well, I think I actually got a good deal. See if the clutch and transmission work. That works too? Uh oh, traffic. One, two, three, four. Well, we better put some more stuff on this. I mean, it's still not charging. It does need a regulator. But let's start with the grips. Well, I'll just take the tour pack off now because I gotta pull the seat to put the new regulator on. Now I'll pull off the front fairing so I can get the stereo out. I mean, it doesn't work and it's the ugliest thing on the bike. I also want to check for any loose wires, because I don't want any fires starting. Now all I have to do is cut the wires and pull the stereo. Well here's why the inner fairing isn't laying down right. The risers are on backwards. Well it should be easy enough just to flip them. Well this one side's stripped out. I guess I'll have to get a new riser. So this will have to wait for now. The voltage regulator finally came in, now we can get this thing charging. Alright, now that we got the stereo out, we can put the fairing back on. I did order a new stereo, but it's going to be a while before it shows up, and I want to ride this thing. Oh yeah, remember that Rebel we were working on last week? 
It had these shocks on it. They're perfect bagger shocks for this bike. It lowered it two inches. Freebie. Let's go for a ride. Perfectly. And the only thing it really needed was a voltage regulator. Be sure to join us next week for more adventures on the Maker Hack Shack.